Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and today we're going to be talking about something that I'm super excited to finally have in my possession and that is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Vault Collection. It does come in a box like this that is super cute. Um, it kind of reminds me of her collaboration with Becca though, this little thing. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one, but like the palette she came out with Becca, that reminds me of it. But. I still really like it. I really liked that palette as well. Before we like dive into this, let me apologize for the fact that this video is probably going to be a little shaky because of the way I have things set up right now. I'm literally just setting it in front of a wall and I have this like on a selfie stick stuck in a thing of markers right in front of me on the bed. So it's probably going to be shaky. I'm sorry about that, but I'm in the process of moving. Finally got my own apartment. I'm really excited. So yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening right now. And we'll go ahead and dive into this guy right here. I'm really excited. I've been like debating on how I'm gonna do this video. I think this is just gonna like be some swatches and then I'll play with like shadows from every palette and then I'll do like individual videos for every different palette. Just because I feel like that's the best way to handle it. Also, there's this adorable picture right here <laughs> of Jacqueline on the back. And then dropping this out, it does come bubble wrapped like so. And then here is the box with all of the different palettes. It's got this little string so you can pull it out. On the top it does have the same logo. And then on the back it also has that same logo. It does say the vault. And on the front right here it says Morphe X Jacqueline all down these sides. And then you have Dark Magic, Armed and Gorgeous, Bling Boss, and Ring the Alarm. And I love that they're in like different colors for the names just so you have like a better idea of what colors are gonna be in there so let's just go ahead and drop this top palette out oh I think I have it upside down actually <laughs> okay whatever um, here is what this looks like as well and this is the dark magic palette so this palette is gonna be your like green colors khaki greens there's a really pretty black down there a nice cream color let's go ahead and do some swatches this is called Poof. Oh my god, these feel like butter. Oh, I have not touched these yet. I have looked at the collection, but I have not touched them yet. I've been very good for this video because I've had these for a few days. Um, this one is called Power Cut. It's like that. Oh my god, that's so pretty. It's like that. That is stunning. I'm not a huge like swatch person just because... They don't do them justice, but I swatch everything anyway. This is like a pewter color with like almost like a duochrome red undertone. This one is called Shh. And it's just like a nice transition shade. Very cool toned brown color. Yeah, see like that swatches terribly, but I bet it's an amazing shadow. Trickery, which is a shade I am excited for. Oh my god, that feels like butter. So pretty. I really need to cut that now. <laughs> Oh, it's just like a really deep foresty green color and it's so pretty like I'm probably gonna say that over and over again in this video it's so pretty and it's probably gonna get really annoying but that's okay the next one is called diversion looks like this that's pretty too it's like a shimmery muted dark brown color next is potion and that's just a oh okay it's like a khaki green. Looking at it down here, it looks almost brown. Yeah, it's just a puke green color, which is so pretty. In the crease, this one's called Busted. It's a blue shade. Just like a deep blue. Actually, that's kind of light. Okay. Next is called Inside Job. Oh my god, that one feels really creamy. Like, they all feel creamy, but that one feels like just extra creamy. That swatch is terrible. Like, these match swatches are not good. But I know, like, based on our other palette that she had with Morphe, the swatches were also not the best. But the formula is amazing. And I love it. This one is called Mojo. Mojo Jojo? No? Okay. <laughs> There's a chocolatey brown. And this last one is called Tempted. And it's just a matte black color, which I really hope this is a good matte black. Almost got a blue undertone to it. Yeah, there is the Dark Magic palette. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these swatches from my arm really quick. And then we will go to the next palette. Yeah, they're a little hard to get off. But that's always a good sign. Because that means they're gonna last. 
So the next one in here is called the, what are you? Armed and Gorgeous palette. My camera is falling, cute. This one is like your oranges and your gold colors. It looks like this, it's so beautiful. Oh, I really like this white shade. It's called a VIP, okay. And all of these do come with like the little plasticky guys that I didn't show you, I've just kind of been throwing them. So VIP is like an ice white. Oh my God, that'd be a beautiful highlight, which I actually didn't put, oh my God, that's blinding. I actually didn't put a highlight on today, so my bad. <laughs> um, this next one is called Access, and it's just like a mustardy yellow orange color. It's a matte. Next we have Guilt Trip, which is a really pretty yellow gold. Whew, pretty, okay. And Coin, which is like a more yellow gold. That's really pretty. Okay, yeah, that's beautiful. It reminds me of um, one from Makeup Geek. I can't remember what it's called. One of the foiled shadows. I have it somewhere. The yellow one, Fortune? Is it Fortune? I think so. That's what that one reminds me of, though. My hair is just cute. <laughs> I just showered, so it's crazy, and I don't even care. Agent is the next one, and this is like a pumpkin color. Pretty. Top Secret is a more khaki green color. Another puke green shade. That VIP color I cannot get over. That's so pretty. Um, Smooth Criminal is a like more warm toned brown transition shade. Next we have Secure, which is like another pumpkin-y color. It's just a little deeper. Yeah, these are not watching the best. Um, two more in this palette, and that is Prowl and Classified. This is Prowl right here, this like chocolatey brown. I feel like I've described that for every brown in this palette. And this one is called Classified. Oh my god, that's beautiful. So like all of the foily shades are swatching amazingly and the matte shades are not, which is normal for a palette. Like the cream shades or the metallic -y shades are always gonna swatch better. Like it's just how it works. So uh, there's that palette. Beautiful, beautiful. Next we have Bling Boss. This is this one right here. I'm like dropping the camera towards myself and it's kind of annoying me, so bear with me while I try to like fix that. Okay. I think this one's my favorite, if I remember the names correctly. Yeah, this one's my favorite out of the four is the purple palette. So there's that right there. Um, the first one in here is called Bling Bling. It just looks like that. It's like an icy pinky purple color. So pretty. Next we have Hush Hush, which is just like my favorite kind of transition shade. Like that really cool toned brown right there. Love. Next we have Gem. Oh my god, I can't wait to put that everywhere. <laughs> That's stunning. It's just like a bright royal purple. Next we have Pizzazz. It's like that. It's a maroony color. Ugh, this palette is beautiful. Like if I were going to design a palette, it would probably have been this. You're really close to my face right now. This camera is not working. Okay. Next we have a Mystic. Right there. So you guys are just gonna get like this really cute close up of my face for the rest of these swatches and then I'll fix things cause this is annoying me. This is called Sparks. It's a beautiful maroony shade. See these swatches are just terrible. Uh, Glitz and Glam is next. Oh, it's pretty, it's like a rose gold, shimmery, beautiful color. Next we have Rockstar, which is a, um, more like magenta y color. Yeah, I don't know why these mattes are terribly swatching, but you know, that's okay. Next is Ballsy. So pretty. This is like a metallic lilac foil shade. 
Oh, and the last one in here is called Berry Treasure. Oh my god. It's just like a deep plummy color with like so much micro glitter. Yeah, this palette is beautiful. It's definitely my favorite. I just want to use this right now, but you know. We're going to play with all of the palettes a little bit. So getting these off is hard. Thankfully there's only one left to swatch and then we can actually play. So a last one in here is called Ring the Alarm. And it looks like this. This is the red tone palette, I do believe. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to be like everyone's favorite palette. I'm already calling that because everyone loves these like red maroony colors. First one in here is called Lolly. Looks like this. This color just like screams fire to me. It's like an orange red duochrome. Next is called Rush, and it's just like a orange muted orange color next we have on camera which is a really pretty gold color Ooh, that's kind of similar to the other one though i'm gonna have to swatch those next to each other this one's called boom Ooh, i like that that is like a metallic pumpkin color next we have alert like this it is a like terracotta color then we have bomb ass and that looks like this it's just a bright um, red with like an orange undertone really pretty now we have siren which is a deeper red brown color oh it actually has like a purple undertone to it also now we have mugshot which is just another transitiony brown color Looks like that. Last two are called Framed and Secret. So here's Framed. It's like a um, purpley color. And Secret is just another brown color. So there is that. I do want to swatch on camera next to that golden color from the other palette. Just because I want to see. So showing you, here's on camera from the, whatever palette this is called, the Armed and Go- oh, nope, this is the Ring the Alarm palette. So there's that color right there, and then I'm going to grab from the other palette, but I can't remember which one it was now. <sighs> Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm gonna swatch those two golds as well. So this is the finger I used, so I'm gonna use these two next fingers. This one is Coin, and this one is, what are you called? guilt trip no yeah guilt trip so there they are right there just watching those next to this one so you can see the differences so there are the three golds because when I swatched this one I did think it looked similar to this but it definitely does not it's like a white gold a pre or yellow gold and then like a golden rod yet gold so there's those now I'm going to wipe this off and move the camera so we can start playing Okay, so I've just got these palettes like laid out in front of me and I'm just gonna kind of like pull a few shades from each palette and just put them on my eyes and see what happens. And then, like I said, in the next few days in the future, I will do like dedicated videos for each palette. My hair, I can't get over it. I'm sure you guys are like sick of my hair looking awful in every video I film, but you know, bear with me. So starting out with the Dark Magic palette, this one right here, I'm going to pick up the shade called Poof and just kind of put that all over just to like lay down a base color and let's just see how this works. There's a little kickback, not a ton. Right there, you can see. I'm just going to lay this on the lid. Yeah, that definitely has some pigment to it, so it's good. I'm gonna try to keep the palette down here as best I can so I'm not like covering up the light. There's that color. Now from this palette I'm gonna pick up, um, let's go with shh right there, that like uh, cool toned brown transition. I'm just gonna use the same brush and just kind of place that in the crease, like high up in the crease because that's what we were gonna use for our transition shade. Yeah, see, these are so much better than they swatch. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. I was worried when I was swatching 
but now that I've got these on my eyes, at least these two shades, they are pigmented, they are blending, and they are looking good. So I like what's happening so far on my eyes. So let's move on to this palette. This is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And we're gonna pick up, I'm definitely gonna use this white shade for sure. Let's go with Agent and pick up a fluffy brush. This is a Moda Pro brush. And we're gonna put that in the crease. It's kinda being messy with it all over. Pretty. Yeah, these mattes are definitely pigmented. I know there was like a lot of drama with this launch because of like her having to pull the palettes back and everything and people are mad about it but honestly like I respect her for doing that because most people wouldn't care and they'd just be like okay whatever hope for the best but to actually like go through and remove all those palettes and try again I think that really says something as her for her as a person and for Morphe as a brand so maybe that's an unpopular opinion but that's my opinion now let's move on to Ring the Alarm, these shades, and I think I'm going to pick up, hmm, let's go on camera, that shade in the middle, and I'm going to use a flat brush to pick that up, just because it is a foiled shade, and let's just try and see, okay, so that's dry, dry, it's not doing much for me. I am going to get some more on my brush and spray it with some setting spray. Using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, my fave. Yeah, there we go. This will work even better with your finger, but I don't know. I just like to use a brush, I guess. I'm running out of setting spray, you guys. This is a tragedy. There we go. Okay. I do have a backup, but I just, like, don't want to open it because I'm, like, determined to get all of it out of this bottle first. Because this setting spray is not cheap. Like, $31 for a setting spray? It's not cheap. So there is that shade. I'm going to go in with my finger just a little bit. Yeah. Just to show you guys, like, how much of a difference it makes if you use your finger with foiled shades. I'm just not someone who likes to, but it definitely, definitely packs a punch. And that's not just with these, that's with any foiled shade. So now... Let's go into my favorite palette so far, the purpley palette, which this is the Bling Boss. It's my favorite one, but you know I don't know the name of it. Let's go in with this like purpley toned dark color called Mystic, just because I need something to tie in with this palette, and I don't want to go too purple yet because I do have an orange in my <laughs> crease. So let's just put that in the outer corner with a fluffy brush. And work it into the crease just a little bit in the outer corner as well. Because I think purples and golds look so good together. Going about halfway in the crease with that. Just keep adding more until we get it where we want it. This one's not blending out as great as the other ones were, but purple shades are harder to do and harder to work with, so that's something there. There we go. This is such a pretty shade. I'm so excited to do a video on this palette, you have no idea. It's probably going to be the first one I do. No surprise there for like any of you though, I'm sure. Because purples are my fave. 
I mean, green's my favorite color, but I have green eyes. So when I wear greens, it's just kind of like, I don't know, kind of mutes it out. But green is my favorite color, but purple is my favorite eye colors to work with. Eye colors. Eyeshadows. Yeah. <laughs> There's that so far. I'm liking it. We're gonna go back in with that orange shade from the Armed and Gorgeous palette called Agent. I'm using that same brush that we used the first time with it. I'm just gonna put it up a little bit higher than the purple, just to give a little more dimension. Kind of blending it over top of it, but also above it, just like that. Pretty, pretty. Now, I don't know what I want to do for the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the Dark Magic palette and I'm going to pick up, uh, we're going to start with sh a color that we used in the transition, just on like a flat top brush. And put that really close to the lower lash line. This looks kind of a little bit boring <laughs> for me, but using all four of these palettes is kind of a challenge. I think it would be fun to do the like one palette challenge though with these, because I think you could I think you could make it work. Maybe not with this one. Yeah, but you could do it. I might try that. Thumbs up this video if you want to see me try that. Not the one palette challenge, but like the using every color from the palette challenge, whatever that's called. Um, let's go in with, yeah, I just don't want to get too many colors. I'm going to go with Mojo. And we're going to take like a little bit of fluffy brush. I'm just going to pick up Mojo and just run that on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Just like that. I think that's going to be like all we do for the lower lash line. From like the center of the lit eye to the outer corner on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to pick up another fluffy brush and go in with shh, that color that we used first and just like intensify the inner portion a little bit just to kind of blend those two colors together so it's not super harsh. That mojo color. That's better. Now, going into, what's this one called? I forgot already. Armed and Gorgeous. What palette have I been, oh, I've been using the Dark Magic. Armed and Gorgeous, I'm gonna pick up VIP on just like a littler, rounded top brush. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. And I'm not gonna spray it just cause I don't want it to be like as intense, or do I? I don't know yet. Okay, and I'm also going to put that on the brow bone. Definitely not spraying it for the brow bone, but I think I am going to intensify it for the inner corner just a little bit. Just because I like an intense inner corner. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my finger. I'm going to pick up my finger. I'm going to pick up VIP on my finger. Just go in. like that. I'm also going to use VIP to highlight, which sounds crazy because it is, but I'm going to do it. I need my highlighting brush. Where are you? This guy is from SL Miss Glam. I just got it in my Ipsy and I've been loving it. Pick up VIP. Let's just see. Ooh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. I've been like using highlighters as eyeshadows a lot lately and I really like it. Down the bridge of the nose. <laughs> Cupid's bow. Oh, 
I like to get my chin just a little bit and above the brow just a little bit. Okay, there's that. Let's throw on some mascara. I'm going to use the Tartiste mascara that I've been loving lately. And by lately, I mean for like the last few months. Almost stab myself in the eye, that's cute. It's gonna be a really long video, I can feel, but that's okay. doing that thing again where I go silent when I do my mascara, so I'm sorry, <laughs> but I have a really bad habit of doing that. Okay, so overall, I'm impressed. I actually really like these shadows. I'm so excited to be able to like play with them more, and honestly, this was like a heck of a deal. I think I paid 45 for all of these after tax and using um, the code and shipping and all that which if you use whoever's code like i use jacqueline's but you can also use like manny or laura or nikki tutorials i think or pretty much anyone on youtube um that has a following <laughs> you can use their code for morphe and save some money money some more mo uh, mm -hmm. yeah that <laughs> save some money which i recommend but yeah this is the look that we came up with it's kind of a boring look for me i'm not gonna lie but i do want a little more over here but it's pretty it's just not like something i would like reach for it's kind of reminiscent of my leo look that i just did which is probably why i gravitated towards this because i just did that look and i really liked it but i like the palettes i'm excited to use them more thumbs up this video if you want to see me do individual videos with them I'm probably gonna do it anyway but you know thumbs up the video so i know at least somebody's gonna watch it but that's everything I have for you guys. Let me know if you've tried these, which one your favorite is down below. My favorite is, of course, Bling Boss, just because purple stuff. But yeah, that's all I have for you. Do not forget to like this video before you go. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I mean, like, why haven't you? But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.